Long time ago, there is a married couple that is longing for a child. They kept on going to churches, especially to Berhansa Guadalupe, for the drive to deserve a child. What else should we do? We pray to gods and even the saints, but still we don't have a child. Please, bear with me. Don't lose hope. We can pass this. We can have our own baby. God will answer our prayers. Just please be with me. Did you know that Chuna and Boyat doesn't have a child? They've been married for a couple of years, but still, they don't have a child. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know that. Pity for them. The married couple didn't mind the gossips from their neighbor. Instead, they once visited the church and after a couple of months, Sean doesn't feel good and they decided to go to the hospital. Doc, what was the problem? There is nothing to be worried. Perhaps you must be happy because what she felt was the symptoms as a pregnant woman. Nurse Ria, please guide them what are the medications they need to have. Yes, Doc. Um, okay, Mom, Sir, here are the list of medicines that you must have, Mrs. Chon. List of vitamins are also included here. Thanks, Doc and Nurse. I can't believe it. Thanks, God, for the blessings you gave to us. Thank you, Lord. Tron and Boyet were so happy because Tron is finally bearing a child. Another couple of months, Tron gave birth to a premature baby boy named Dodong. Dodong is inborn blind and has a severe compilation, but this is not a hindrance to his parents. Dear God, thanks for this wonderful baby you give to us. No matter what he is, Still, he is our baby. The answer of our prayers, we will love him as much as we call. Days, months, and years was passed, and their family are so happy. But then all of a sudden, Boyet anxiously felt helpless as he knew about his sickness. Dear God, why did you do this to me? What have I done wrong? to face this kind of problem. Do I have to suffer in this? Love, is everything okay? Why are you crying? <sighs> Love, please, I'm begging you. Please, kill me, please. I can't stand this anymore. Please. <laughs> no love, please don't do this to me. How can I kill my own husband, the love of my life? What about our dodong, our child, our family? How about me? Sorry love, I'm so sorry for asking you such things. I'm sorry. Shh. Now my love. Promise I won't ask you again. I'm so stupid and blunt for asking you such things without regarding your feelings. It's okay, love. I understand. Always remember. I am always here for you. Me and Dodong. Okay? We can surpass in this problem. Boyet starts his life again. With the help of his wife and his son, he became more strong to handle his illness. After one year, Boyet died peacefully because he spent his life with his family. Boyet lived but his presence stays. He even left the tape recordings for his son to listen as if he is with him physically. Years passed by, Dodong became a strong, brave man despite of having physical complications, he valued everything that his parents did to him.
was her own will. I do believe in you always. We thank you for everything. And also, please tell my father that we really miss him and we love him. Please take him care in heaven. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Dodong left the church with a light in his face and a happiness in his heart. Wow, what a wonderful piece. In this short story of Corazon Almirino, it gave me the significance of life. To my perspective, life is not about living at the very good moments, perhaps living at the very tough moments, in which we can learn and grow from it, out from our comfort. Our experiences can be a medium to be a better as an individual. Just like Chona, it was very hard for her to leave that place of mourning for her husband, who's now gone but she chose to look at the side of positivity for her son Dudong to give him a good life. It just means that no matter how brutal those punches that life has given to you, your choice of pursuing to live every single day is what matters to survive for tomorrow. Therefore, Sugmat is a story of reality of life, showing how Chona chooses to live instead of staying in the situation of hurt and the different challenges she have to face in.